Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're making a copycat orange chicken that's supposed to copy Panda Express. I've never actually had Panda Express, but I like orange chicken, so hopefully this is good. I'm also trying a different way of filming where I'm using my phone to record audio and then I have a GoPro recording video. I'm gonna try and pair those together in editing. I might film twice with my phone as well uh, in case I mess up because I'll be very frustrated if I do a whole video and it's not usable. So if anything looks bizarre, it's because I filmed twice and might be a little frazzled. Anywho, why don't we run through the ingredients and then we'll get into cooking. The ingredients are in two parts. We have the chicken and then we have the sauce. So for the chicken, obviously, we have two pounds of chicken. Well, it might be more than two pounds. I kind of eyeballed it. Half cup of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper. And then for the sauce, we're going to have quarter cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of rice vinegar, quarter cup of orange juice, also a quarter cup of water, quarter cup of brown sugar. We have a theme of quarter cups going on one tablespoon of cornstarch, quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, half a teaspoon of garlic minced, and then one tablespoon of orange zest. And then obviously with a dish like this, you can also have uh, like green onions as a garnish, serve it with rice, pretty common, and then probably some kind of like veggie, broccoli, green beans, those kind of things. The first step of this recipe is to make the chicken. So that's going to be to kind of toss the chicken with the cornstarch as well as the salt and pepper in a large bowl. I'm just gonna be using some tongs, just kind of toss that all up. Now we want to cook the chicken that we've tossed in the cornstarch mix. Uh, that's just gonna be, I'm gonna use my Dutch oven so that I can kind of do everything in one. And we're going to cook on high, just going for golden brown, cooking it all the way through obviously because chicken, you don't wanna have it undercooked. But I'm gonna do it in phases because you don't wanna overcrowd the pan. So just kind of cook it, set aside, cook, set aside, rinse and repeat. Now that the chicken um, has cooked or is cooking, depending on kind of how you do this, this is a very easy step to do while other things are happening, is to mix up all of the ingredients for the sauce. So that's just like the soy sauce, rice vinegar, orange juice, all of those, there's a fair number of them. Mix that all up in a bowl or uh, probably just a measuring cup if you don't want to dirty a whole bunch of things. And, and then you, that's all you got to do for this step. Just just do that, well, do that, and then do that, you're good to go. Next is to mix the cooked chicken with the sauce in the Dutch oven. Keep cooking that until the sauce has thickened and then you're done. You're ready to serve. All right, so fourth time's the charm. It might actually be the fifth time I've lost count. But I've recorded with the GoPro, with my phone. I think my mic is broken because the audio 
the first time just didn't exist. So I think that might have been user error. But then since then, every time I've recorded, it's like all like jittery sounding and it's like playing over itself. I don't know what's happening. But it seems like if I don't use the mic, the recording app works fine. So I think my mic might have broken since I recorded all of these steps versus when I recorded the little end note here. So this is days later. I mean, I recorded it, then I re-recorded days later, and now I'm recording again because me editing the, the, the second take did not work. And that second take, I think I did two or three tries within that. So here we are. I The orange chicken was good. I don't really have a lot to tell you about it because it's been a almost a week now since I had it, but I ate all of it, so it must be good. I recommend you give it a go. The only thing I will say is be careful because working with all of that kind of hot oil in the pan and chicken, it's splattering everywhere. I used the little kind of mesh cover thing, which worked when I wasn't hands on, but when you're flipping it, that it's, it's hitting your arms, burning a little bit. It got all over the stove top. So make sure you clean right afterwards because if you let that sit, it's, it's gonna be a thousand times harder to clean. I mean, that just, that kind of rule of thumb should apply to any time you cook. Just wipe down everything afterwards. It'll take you a handful of minutes right after versus like an hour the next day. So clean up real quick, save you a lot of time. Because it's taken so long for me to actually get a usable version of this last segment, I know already what I'm making in the next video. Usually I don't know that when I record these things, but because it's like a day before I actually film that one, I know what I'm making. So I'm gonna give you like a little hint. Funfetti gluten-free mix is gonna be used. It doesn't call for Funfetti, but I had Funfetti already, so that's what I'm using. And it also calls for pie filling. So those are the hints. Obviously you can see some of the other non-refrigerated items sitting for me. I'm not gonna tell you what they are. You have to use your eyeballs. You can piece together the clues and see if you can tell me what I'm making before I make it. Because now you have a week to, to think, to analyze, and if you leave comments, I might respond in a leading you down the right pathway. I don't know, we'll find out. But I figured I had to give you something since I'm not giving you a whole lot of orange chicken content. So I'm sorry, but I'm just working through the technical difficulties. I'm gonna see how this works with me recording the audio just straight from my phone, sitting here on a little tripod. Hopefully it sounds good. That might be what I'm doing in the future because if the mic is doing what it's doing, it's kind of unusable. I'll have to test it again with, with recording via the phone to see if that helps at all. I don't know. But that's for me to figure out and then you to enjoy the final product. But yeah, I this, this one has been a little bit of a struggle. I like the setup, like the dynamic of it, but these technical difficulties have been a little bit of a pain. Anywho, on that note, which is, I guess it's technically a note. Bye mom, still not dead. See you.